Hey nerds, welcome back to Nerd News. I'm going to say Danny O'Neill. And today, I'm interviewing Mike Zapsik from Comic Book Men. Um, What's up, Danny? And uh, thank, you so, Mike, uh, thank you so much, Mike, for doing this. Um, let's start off with the first question. Who is your favorite DC superhero and why? Uh, Nightwing, because he brings the best elements of Superman and Batman together. So. Great. Uh, what got you into comics? I've been a comic collector since I can remember. I learned how to read from comic books, so um, what got me into it? The fact that I had five older brothers and they would leave their comic books around. Awesome. Uh, what is your favorite comic book storyline and why? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I'm a big fan of the Dark Phoenix Saga mm -hmm. uh, from the X-Men, the yeah. X-Men Dark Phoenix Saga. Yeah. Uh, I also love uh, New Teen Titans, Judas Contract, oh. great storyline. Um, Avengers Korvac Saga, I, I don't have just one in case yeah. you didn't notice. Yeah. Um, uh, Captain America, uh, War and Remembrance by John Byrne, it was oh. amazing. Yeah, oh. um, well, uh, who is your favorite Marvel superhero on Mars? Marvel superhero, yeah. it's a bit tougher. Um, Huge Cap fan, but yeah. I gotta give it up to Simon Wayne's Wonder Man. Yeah. I mean, back in the day, yeah. he was. They don't do much of that anymore. No, they don't. They don't um, have him prominent on yeah. the center, and he should have a costume and yeah. just be like all badass. But they had a short TV show though. Wonder Man. Yeah. Well. Uh, oh, the Avengers. That yeah. Part two. Yeah, it was like two episodes or something, and it was like the unpopular heroes. Yeah. I yeah. Suppose. Um. What. Uh, what is your thoughts on the DC and uh, DC and Marvel movie genre today? Uh, Marvel's knocking it out of the park. I think that they've got uh, the movies sewn up. Mm. Uh, even their Netflix stuff is yeah. amazing. Except for Defenders. Um, ex very excited. Yeah. Um, didn't really like Iron Fist. Nah, not not much for people. But uh, DC's got some catching up to do. But yeah. I thought Wonder Woman was fantastic. It was amazing. Um, who is your favorite DC villain and why? DC villain. Oh, wow. Another great uh, question. Uh, Deathstroke. Mm, yeah. He's, um, Deathstroke was you know, introduced in New Teen Titans number two, yeah. and he was just a mercenary. With, um, you know, he would take money to kill people, which mm. I thought was cool. He was also he, in one of your favorite stories, Judas Contract, right? He was in Judas Contract, and he was so popular that uh, Rob Liefeld sort of made an homage to him, if you want to call it that, a mm. pastiche, uh, with Deathstroke. Oh, okay. Who is, again, insanely popular. Yeah. What is your favorite, uh, what is your opinion, uh, on, uh, uh, DC not being on movie and TV? Like, uh, having the two separate worlds, like how the Flash and Green Arrow? I think it's stupid. Yeah. I think it's, you know what, this is going to make me very unpopular, but there's, um, a certain amount of stuff that they should and shouldn't do, mm -hmm. and you know, mixing the two is something that's a no-brainer. Yeah. They think it's going to be too confusing for people, but I think that that's foolish. Yeah. I think people are smart enough to know. Yeah, like what Marvel's doing. Right. Yeah. Who's your favorite Marvel villain? Favorite Marvel villain? Uh, it's a toss-up between Magneto and Doctor Doom. Yeah. I think they're both amazing characters. So. Yeah, they are. Uh, which do you like better, DC or Marvel? Why do I have to choose one? I like them both. They're both amazing. You don't have to no. choose. You don't have to choose? Okay. No, Got it. That's a good enough choose. answer. Thank you for, so much for letting me interview you. And uh, that's all we have for today, nerds. This is Nerd News. Sound.